hi welcome back to the channel this video will be about how to update your software your system software in your freelander tool so stick around and enjoy it so just before we um, continue i just want to clarify the difference between the ccf and the system software itself so the ccf uh, is the car configuration files they come completely free with the um, with the iid tool but the system um, software the firmware update is not free it's 25 pounds um, you have to pay to gap and then they will email you instructions on how to um, upgrade uh, run the upgrade to your car and um, basically you just have to uh, plug in your tool to the uh, your computer and then you um, download the software update and then you take it out from your computer plug it to your car and then you upload it to your car's ecu and then that's it and this principle applies to most of the land rovers but um i will strongly suggest you do a search on gaps website to make sure your car is compatible because i know um i'm aware that uh, from 2002 range rovers to 2006 they do have some um problems with it so your best to your best confirming it with cap before you proceed right let's get into it so the first thing is we go on google and then we type um iid to fast lane i have done it already here so you can see it and it comes up with the tools and what we have to do is uh, the fast lane so you scroll all the way down add it to your cart pretty much straightforward process um, and then you just check out they will send you a confirmation receipt so um, with that you keep your confirmation receipt very safe the next thing is we plug the iid tool into the car to download the car's configuration and then we will email that pdf to cap i plug in the tool and then I'll turn the key on without starting it off. And uh, we search for the tool. See. Okay. Okay. So once you connect to the tool, because we're going to uh, ACU info. So we click on the ECU information and then we read all the information. Scan it. So it comes back with the information about all your modules so you can see that um, with the ATCM my terrain response I have the latest software I have the ABS um, brake module latest software my BCM body control this updates available my DDM driver door updates available I know there will be an update available for the DDM door because I changed the uh, uh, the door actuator at some point it failed so I, I, I installed a new one so I know there will be an update but my uh, my interest is in the PCM body control because I've been having some uh, recent um, strange battery uh, problems where if I sometimes start it there's a bit of delay before the, ba the, the the battery kicks in so i just think um, uh, maybe this could fix it i've checked i've checked double checked all my earth points they have very strong connections and all that so this is my next option in part of the troubleshooting anyway this process is similar to any other uh, model you would like to update i can see a transmission update here but uh, the transmission is beautiful it runs very smooth so I don't think there's a need for that now and hopefully I wouldn't need to do that okay so once you get all your information you click on this share button and then you will send the email 
with all this information attached to the email to team gap you send it to uh, team gap and then you just send it after sending that email uh, you have to wait for a response uh, from team gap with your firmware but you have to bear in mind that um, they i think they are in canada or something like that yeah i think so so i mean respective of um, wherever you are you have to um, consider the time difference anyway let's take a look at this so um i've got a reply from them and it says connect your tool to your computer and then we are looking for a build 2769 that is um the firmware which uh, we need to uh, download onto the tool and then upload to the car so um, we have to connect the device to the laptop and then we have to um, download the updater to um, download the updater just go into your account and then once you are in your account you click on product activation and then that's the updater too i have already actually downloaded it so um there's no need to download it again so just click on gap id and then the updater comes up and then we have to click on find device so we found a device update of 4.2 and then if we go back to the email uh, it was stated we should use custom build 2769 so we go back um, to this to the updater and then we find um, 2769 custom custom build 2769 so So once we it's all connected, we look for two seven six nine, and then uh, think we have to click on. We look for two seven six nine, and then program flash files only, and then it says programming memory. And then are you sure you want to continue? Yes. You could hear my engine is running because um, I'm getting the batteries uh, charged up and prepared for a software update. Uh, I've also connected an external power source to the main battery as well. Right, successful click OK and um, we just close the update so we take the tool out and then turn the car off <laughs> just con connect it to Just to show you, before you do a software update, it's highly recommended from GAP to put your batteries on charge. So I've, I've kept my engine running as well, and um, I have my battery on charge. Even though it says full, I just like to leave it on charge just to be on the safe side. Search for the two. Search for the two. And then we go to ECE flash and then you can see we have BCM body control because that's the request we made from GAP. So uh, it gives us flash on ECU and then yeah, we just go and continue with mono blah, blah, blah. flashing duration two minutes. Okay yes yes 
So we switch ignition on. is in the process of flashing now. The whole car is off, everything is gone off. Oh, it's back on. Thought it would take longer than that. So what do we have here? Flash completed. Okay. So um switch ignition off, then return to on and then continue. So we turn the ignition off. And then we return to on. And we continue. Okay, so the upload has been successful, which is good news. We've updated the software. which is good. I won't disconnect the tool yet. So I'm just gonna then shut everything off wait for like a minute. That's what I do after a software update. Okay, so I wait for like one minute and then we fire it up. Start nicely. There's no problems at all. Everything works fine. What I'm gonna do is just um, turn ignition off back again, and then we will go to the ECU info and see if um, the software, the BCM body model has been updated. So we're just gonna read the tool again. We click on continue. ECU info, just to get information from the entire modules from the car, just to see if the BCM is updated what software is running on and what version. So you could see before we had the BCM body control which was um, needed an update. Now you could see it says um, latest version. So that's been a successful update. So I mean this should just give you a general idea about how the software update process is in the for using the iid2 but in case you uh want to um add or delete some uh, ccf files those are completely free so something like toba external lies and all that if you just go to the c the ccf which is here you uh confirm the list You go to complete list BCM. Uh, let's say you fitted a toolbar and you want to activate it, so you click on toolbar and then it comes up with toolbar not fitted, fitted, not fitted. If you click on fitted, you apply and then you uh, upload it, the, the changes. So that's about it. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it very useful and see you in the next video.